Introducing the Rational Team Concert for IBM I, creating an IBM I project, build engine, and build definition demo. In this demo, you will learn how to import an I project, create a build engine and build definition, and run a build. This demo assumes that a Jazz build system, Rational Build Agent, is installed and running. We'll begin by connecting to the repository and opening the project area, Demo IBM I PA. Expand the Source Control folder, and you'll notice it is populated with two demo streams. For this demo, we will use the IBM I Build Demo stream. Expand the Repository Workspaces folder. We will be using two IBM I Builds workspaces, the Build and Source workspaces, which both flow to the IBM I Build Demo stream. Next, you'll need to populate the RTC stream with the IBM I project. There are two ways to create an I project. You can create or import a project in the I projects view, or you can import a project from another system using the Remote Systems Explorer. First, switch to the I projects perspective. In the I projects view, right click and select Import. Under General, Select Existing Projects into Workspace and click Next. Select an archive file that already exists. The project we'll be using is Mail List, which is available for download on the Jazz.net wiki and select Finish. The mail list project, including all the project members, is imported. Another way to create or import an I project is to switch to the Remote Systems Explorer perspective. Then connect to an IBM I machine that already has a library with all the source files. Right click on the library and select Create I project. The project is created in the iProjects view. Although the steps to create them were different, the resulting projects are the same. We only need one, so delete the extra project you just created. Next, you'll populate the RTC stream. Right-click and select Team Share Project. Select Jazz Source Control. Select IBM I Build Workspace Source and click Next, then Finish. After clicking Finish, notice there is a change in the IBM I Build Workspace Source listed in the Pending Changes tab. Expand the Outgoing folder to see the projects that will be changed. Right-click Share Projects and select Deliver. After selecting Deliver, all the source files are delivered to the stream. Now other users will be able to use these source files by going to the stream and loading this project. The other workspace connected to this stream IBM I Build Workspace Build recognizes a change to the build and that something new has been delivered. Note that IBM I Build Workspace Build is being shown for demo purposes only. Click on the project to see the incoming changes. To accept the changes, right click and select Accept. Now both the workspaces have the mail list project and you can use it to run a build. To run the build, switch to the work items perspective. First, you'll need to create a build engine, then a build specification and build definition. Right-click Build Engines and select New Build Engine. Select Rational Build Agent and click Finish. The Build Engine Editor opens. Click on the Build Agent tab. 
type in the host name of the IBM iMachine where your build agent exists. Specify the port number, username, and password where the build agent is running. Then test the connection. Once you see a successful connection has been made, select Save to save your changes. Right-click on Builds and select New Build Definition. Select IBM I Build Specification Rational Build Agent. Accept the defaults and click Finish. On the Overview tab, Click Edit and select the engine you just created. In this case, it's Demo IBM I PA Engine 2. Click on the Schedule tab to see where you can specify how often to run the builds, every few hours or every few days. Click on the Properties tab to see where you would specify any additional properties. Click on Jazz Source Control IBM I tab. Specify the workspace containing the library files to compile. Select the workspace that has all the latest files, the IBM I Build workspace, Build. Notice your mail list project exists, but now you need to specify the load library and the object library. During build, all source members are loaded from your repository workspace into the load library and compiled objects are compiled into the object library. Double-click on load library. Type a name for the load library and object library. Since it's the first time this workspace is going to be built, select Load All Workspace Contents so that it selects all the files. After this, you can select Load Latest Changes. Select the Build Options tab. This generates build scripts used to compile your library. Scroll down to the Fail on Errors section. You can specify the build to stop after a certain severity event file message or command message. The Command section lets you specify optional pre- and post-build commands. In the Ant Configuration section, you also have various build options. Save your changes to the build definition. The new build definition has been created in the Builds folder. Before running a build, go to the Enterprise Extension Source Code Data tab, then right-click and choose Select Streams for Scanning. Select IBM I Build Demo Stream. When you select Source Code Scanning and run a build, it figures out the dependencies between the various files. Once a build is run, if you make any changes, it can tell what the dependencies are and files that will be affected by it. Right-click on the build and select Request Build, then click Submit. Under the Builds tab, you can see that your build is running and the progress is pending. Let's take a look at a previous build. Double-click to open the results in the Builds tab, then double-click on the build. The Overview tab is the Build Results page that shows compile errors, warnings, logs, the repository workspace where it pulled the source files from, and a snapshot view. The Activities tab lists the activities that were run. And the Compilation tab shows the mail list project and the files that were built and lists errors or warnings. The Logs tab shows the log files, lists all the variables, and shows the members that have been compiled. Scroll to the end of the build to see that the build has run successfully. This concludes the demo on creating an IBM I project, build engine, and build definition for Rational Team Concert for IBM I. Visit us at www.jazz.net for more demos and information.